Ladies and gentlemen, using unconventional weird movesets on stuff is way more fun, and in today's video we get a little bit of a taste of that. Uh, it has been quite a while since I've had a Wi-Fi battle up, but I figured, you know what, I want to get back into some battles, so I built a new team and I'm ready to mess with some people. As always, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit that like button and even subscribe for some more. The support really helps out. I'm always going to make these types of videos because I just have fun doing it, but I do appreciate you guys. Uh, anyway, looking at the matchup here, my dude's kind of working with a scary team. It's looking very defensive. It's kind of all out defense and <laughs> is not ideal considering I'm using some never used stuff, but I've got a plan in the back pocket and let's hop into it. Uh, so they're actually going to lead off with the Cresselia. And Cresselia is kind of the bane of my existence. This thing's bulky as hell. It can do a bunch of uh, annoying stuff. And you really just, you hate to see this damn duck floating around. But I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my just standard base Rotom. You know, sometimes you got to use just the regular Rotom. You know, and the normie guy never gets enough love. He always feels like he has to be something else to be accepted, but not today. Uh, I actually ended up going for a Will-O-Wisp turn one because I kind of expected this thing to maybe switch out into something like the... Uh, the Snorlax, it was an easy play, to switch in the Shadow Ball, and then I was like, maybe I'll catch that boy with a burn. And unfortunately not, this thing actually just stays in and goes for a Trick Room. So now I'm dealing with some Trick Room shenanigans, and I guess that's kind of cool. You know, it makes things a little bit interesting here. But now this thing is faster, goes for the Light Screen, and now Pinhead is not going to be able to do a damn thing. So I go for the Volt Switch here. I uh, kind of just want to conserve the Rotom. I probably should have stayed in and just went for the Shadow Ball. Uh, but I'm still kind of worried about some pivots, but I'm going to now switch into um, my Frosted Mini Weed. The absolute legend Abomasnow, who never gets used because this thing is, you know, about as frail as shit with its typing. <laughs> the Grass Ice typing does no favors for this thing, but uh, it's still a really cool Pokemon, so I wanted to kind of build a little bit of a team around it. This thing is, it's kind of here to set up for the Wall Rain to be able to sweep. It gets the, it's like a little bit of a mini Hail team, I don't know, but... Uh, they're going to end up switching out to Cresselia and go right into Snorlax, of course. Uh, the Snorlax in the Trick Room is going to be pretty damn scary, and I'm expecting this thing also to be uh, kind of just the standard Curse Lax. I don't know what it is about uh, this 2022-2021 like Wi-Fi code, but people just love using Curse Snorlax, and this thing, you know, it is, it is a threat, but it's super hard to take care of, and I just hate playing against it. But... Uh, I get the Aurora Veil up there, that's basically like a light screen and reflect both on my end, which is really nice for me. Because uh, now stuff can take hits, but now of course Snorlax just goes right for the curse, as I expect. Um, it does kind of help this thing out in the Trick Room, being able to you know drop its speed makes it a little bit faster um, in the Trick Room. But it's obviously, it's not going to be able to sweep because the Trick, trick Room is not going to stay around. But... Uh, I have myself a Jump Pluff, and if you've been around the channel for a long time, you know that I absolutely hate Jump Pluff, but... I do like it when it's on my side. This thing is honestly super useful. Um, shout out to the Nuzlocke that I recently did over on Twitch. This thing came in uh, really clutch. And Jump Pluff is always super nice to have. But um, I'm going to go for this Leap Powder here. As he got a little bit greedy there, I went for another Curse. He wasn't going to be able to knock me out through the Aurora Veil. So I'm seeing wants to set up you know, as much as possible. But I'm able to land uh, that Sleep Powder, which is great. Now, this Jump Pluff is a little bit unconventional, and as you're seeing, it's Swords Dance with Seed Bomb and Substitute, so this thing... <laughs> this Jump Pluff is an interesting mon, right? Because it kind of suffers really bad from the, like, the 4-move syndrome, meaning it needs it needs more. Like, this thing, it, its set could be really good if it had access to uh, the Leech Seed, specifically in this scenario, but I really just wanted to have the Swords Dance um, and, the, and the Seed Bomb there for just an attack, but I have to have the Substitute, and of course you have to have the Sleep Powder. So ideally, I would have Acrobatics, freaking Leech Seed, so many different options for this thing, U-Turn, um, but it's not going to be there. So, this thing actually wakes up quickly, which is not generally what you're going to expect from a Snorlax. This fat boy looked like he could take naps all day, but he's up and he's going for some more Curses. And now I believe that is three. So this thing's defense is uh, looking pretty damn nice at this point, but I do have a... A Swords Dance up. Now, this Jump Pluff, you know, albeit if it was any other Jump Pluff set, it probably would be better in this matchup. Um, but the Swords Dance set, I'm convinced, can get some shit to work against old Tubby over here. So, I go for another Sleep Powder, just doing annoying Jump Pluff shit like he's supposed to do. And I'm gonna go for another Swords Dance, because after this, I'm gonna be sitting at plus four, whereas... Uh, Snorlax's defense is at plus three, so I'm gonna have a little bit of an advantage, but then again, you know, Jump Pluff isn't the strongest physical attacker, so he needs all the help he can get with these damn swords. And I'm really just kind of hoping I can win the matchup against this Snorlax. With the sleep support, I should be able to make some stuff happen. Um, and then again, I don't really have much else on my team that wants to take care of this. The Jump Pluff is kind of designated uh, to be the Snorlax killer here. I go ahead and throw some seeds at that dude. 
Uh, he would eat them, but he's sleeping, and it does, you know, a, a decent chunk, not as much as you would hope. Um, but he also then wakes up, goes for a double edge, luckily. I'm sitting behind my bean bag, so I'm in pretty good shape here. And I can kind of just put this thing back to sleep as you get some recoil. So double edge, not the general moveset you're expecting to see from this thing, but it actually has a citrus berry. And that actually worked kind of nice for my dude because he knocks himself into citrus range and then heals up. I was kind of interested to see what uh, item this thing was actually even carrying. Because if you don't see leftovers or a chesto berry after putting it to sleep for the first time, I was like, what the hell is my dude running on Snorlax? But I put him back to sleep because I say, hey, you look... Look like you can use another nap, little buddy. I'm going to go ahead and do my jump puff thing, as jump puff does. I, honestly, this little puff ball is such an absolute menace. That's why its name is Devil, because I think it's absolutely Satan. But at this point now, I, it's not really worth it for me to try to set up substitutes or more sword stances. I'm just going to go ahead and throw some more seeds at this thing, because I really just need to whittle this thing down. I'm really hoping uh, it doesn't have rest, wake up and get a rest off or something like that. Um, but I'm over here just, you know, chipping away at my guy. You know, he probably thought... He was gonna be in pretty good shape against Jump Pluff, but look at look at look at the Pluff just showing him who's boss. Throwing some more seeds, and that one is gonna be able to take it out. So Jump Pluff wins the matchup against a plus three defense Snorlax, and that might be like the first time that's ever happened in history. So we're out here making making stuff happen, Jump Pluff. But anyway, now they go into the Umbreon. Now ordinarily this would be a horrible situation, but I have two Swords Dances, so I just go right for the Seed Bomb, absolutely nuke this little fella, and it easily takes care of it. Uh, he probably did not expect that to kill, as jump, as uh, you know, Umbreon being a pretty defensive lad, that's you know, it's, it is gonna knock him out. He also ends up having a fortress in the back, of course, which he probably should have went to into initially, uh, but you know, Umbreon kind of paid the price there. So I go for another sleep powder, and this dude is probably like, this is the most frustrating battle, literally of all time, and I I feel your pain. I've, we've all been there against a jump bluff, but it's it's nice to be on the other end, but. You know, this thing is going to kind of stop me in my tracks. I guess he didn't really know. Uh, I, actually, he saw my whole moveset. But all I have is Seed Bomb <laughs> for an attacking move. Um, and, of course, it's not going to be able to do too much to the old Steel Walnut over here. But after one more Life Orb recoil, I will uh, go down here. But Jump Bluff has kind of done what he needed to do in this matchup. Um, I kind of wish I did have Recovery, but it doesn't really matter. He needs the Life Orb to be able to do as much damage as possible. I just go for one more Seed Bomb just for good measure, take myself out, and that is totally fine as uh, Fortress is st still sleeping, so the amount of sleep turns you can get away with with the freaking the devil is ridiculous, but so now my plan is this, I go back into the Obama Snow and I'm going to set up the hail again, because I'm thinking alright I can maybe get up another Aurora Veil and then Walrein can do some stuff too but I completely forget to click Aurora Veil, I guess it's it doesn't really matter that much because against the Fortress uh, this thing's not going to do too much damage to me, but I go right into Bubba this old big blue blubberous bastard's gonna go ahead and uh, get some some Legos scattered around him, but that's fine as I am able to come in for free. And with this thing's ability, I do heal uh, upon taking you know the hail, but of course you know, I haven't taken any damage here. So now I'm like, you know what? If those swords were not enough for you, buddy, guess what I got? I got some more for you. He goes into Blissey because you look at a Pokemon like Walrein, and you're thinking, okay, this thing's gonna what like Surf Blizzard? I'm not afraid of it, but. I instead go for the Swords Dance because I'm a physical attacking, sweeping, uh, big, thick, blubber boy. So <laughs> after the plus two attack, I go right for the Waterfall here. That's going to do easily over half. And I even get the flinch because why the hell not? Blissey being the most annoying Pokemon ever, you love to see a flinch. And then one more Waterfall takes care of it. So Blissey, generally a hard counter to Walrein, is not today. And... Uh, Bubba is out here putting in work, and then back comes the fortress. So you honestly love to see all these defensive Pokemon just having a tough time uh, against these ones you never really see do anything. But I just go for the waterfall at plus two. It's going to do a decent amount. And check this out. He eats his berry, which is annoying. I mean, it doesn't really matter in this situation. Citrus berries everywhere, though. But I get another flinch. So I could not have... <laughs> I could not have planned this any better. And right now, another Waterfall looks good against the Fortress, but I figure I can set up against this Walnut pretty easily, so I'm going to go for another Swords Dance here. I know that he's got the Slowbro, uh, the Slowbro in the back, which is just another defensive asshole, and he actually tries to go for the counter, which is, again, super frustrating for my dude over here, and he decides to just run away, because the power of the wall rain was too much. DJ's all-out defensive stall team was not able to do what it was supposed to today, and I'm sorry. But I thought that was just kind of a fun match. I wanted to get back into the swing of things. So let me know if you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out.